Hello, we just thought we'd do a little video um, to say a little bit about us um, and to give some information right at the start um, to say that um, for people that watch these sailing channels and think that it's something that they might like to do, um, that yeah, we, we're doing it. Um, we're not expert sailors. I can't sail at all. <laughs> I've sailed all my life, but not to any um, great level. Um, my father's always owned a boat. Um, mm. When we had children, the sailing sort of went out the window a bit. I managed to do a, um, a round Britain sail uh, mm. filming for the BBC. It was about, well, it's actually about 10 years ago now. Um, but actually, apart from that, not a lot until we bought Fair Isle. So it was a big step yeah. for us. Um, and it was that sort of that moment of, of when the children leave home, wasn't it? Thinking, well, yeah. what are you going to do? And I think a lot of the, the and feeling that we're young enough to do something. Yeah, yeah. We, we just thought it was a mistake Before to we wait retired. till you retire and mm. then go sailing. Because sailing, as we all know, is you know there's there's a physical side to sailing and, yeah. and having good health and things. Mm. You know, while you've got your good health, it's good. Um, I mean, I know a lot of the guys on the sailing channels are very young, doing it good for them. Um, you know, if you can organise your life so that you can do that. Um, mm. But I think most of us, you know, aren't quite that organised and it might get to the stage mm. where if, having had children, you know, you, you can't do it. Well, some people do do it with children. <laughs> but um, No, I think for us it was thing. when the children left home and we felt we could travel because we've always travelled um, quite a lot with our work because we're, um, we're broadcast journalists um, and filmmakers so we've travelled as much as we can over the, I don't know, 20, 30 odd years. Mm. Good evening. So we're used to living in small rooms. We yes. know that the space thing isn't an issue for us. I think that was it. When we'd spent one month, I think it was, in Kenya in one mm. hotel room with gear, I thought, yeah, well, okay, well, the boat's bigger than that. <laughs> and it is. I mean, we've now sold our house completely. Um, we had to, to buy the boat. Um, we've got a, a small flat, and we mean small, it's smaller than our boat in London. Yep, um, I need. So that's, you know, a bit of rental income there. Um, mm. And we think, well, you know, it's sort of doable for us now. Um, our overheads aren't, aren't that high. And, well, we'll see. I mean, one of the reasons we watch the sailing yeah. channels is to look and see, well, you know, how much does yeah. it cost? What, what is life like? Um, so that's a consideration. And, you know, we, we think that it's, it's doable and we'll keep yeah. you updated to whether that's <laughs> we're right or not. Meanwhile, if we have to work, we can always go off and make a film. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, we're, um, we are working, as I say, it's, it's two months before we actually mm. leave to, uh, to sail from England um, down to uh, Portugal with the Ark. Um, and we're just getting the boat ready at the moment. So mm. we've taken a week, at, we're filming at the moment. Where we are now is in Goma in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, the lake behind us is Lake Kivu and uh, beyond the lake you can see Rwanda. And it is lovely. We, we sit in here at bed at night and you can, you can watch the sun go down uh, across the lake. Um, it is a fantastic uh, spot. We, unfortunately we won't be able to bring the boat here. I think, is Congo completely landlocked? I don't think it is. It's got a tiny bit. Huge country in the middle of, of Africa. This obviously huge lake. Um, I think they've got a tiny little bit of coastline, but it's, it's not on our, our t itinerary of uh, places to go, I don't think, not just yet. Not by boat, anyway. <laughs> we fly to places like this. But yes, we could um, still do a little bit of work. Um, and as we say, we're still in our 50s. We haven't retired yet. So I think we'd like to combine a bit of work um, with the sailing with a view to perhaps then moving on to the sailing full time later, depending, yeah. on, depending on how it goes. And filming sailing. I mean, obviously, that's why we didn't, hadn't originally thought of doing a, a, a YouTube channel. Um, it was uh, something from watching other ones and, and actually mm. I, I'd watched them years ago and, and they were, <laughs> most of them were unwatchable I would say at that stage now they're, they're great mm. I mean the, the quality has come up just hugely in that time. But because we've travelled as journalists I'm quite keen to show more I think of the places we go and talk to the people that we meet there. I mean Steve wants to talk to some um, techie people and people with boats. I kind of my, would like My to... techie stuff has gone on technical corner I'm not allowed to put it in the major major bits so I've got my own little space where, where the technical stuff will go but yes I mean I think you know I want to talk to you know proper professional riggers that have been doing it for years and you know everything else engineers from and, and sailors and sound trimmers and whatever and that's sort of what we've done for years as journalists and I think you know that's what we mm. want to try and do within the channel as well and I'd like that. to talk to the people who live in these places yeah so wherever it's we go part I think mainly the the the, uh, the the videos that we would try and put out every couple of weeks will be a travelogue um, mm. of showing what what life is like um, but then try and get the rest of it as well within the website so there'll be other um, information there to be had 
So that's it. It's our, it's our new adventure. Let us know whether you like our films. Um, let us know what you do like and what you don't like, and we can adapt, get more of what you do like, I hope. Yeah, it's a learning curve for us because you know, doing stuff online isn't, isn't what we're used to. Um, so yeah, keep those comments coming in and um, we'll... Keep going. Keep going. <laughs>